Welcome back folks. In the following video, I'm going to show you how you can use conditional logic to create dynamic forms. With that, you will be able to ask the user specific questions and based on their answers, then you can show more fields to that user and it will then allow you to collect the information you need for your specific services. So let's get started and we're going to head over to the WordPress back end, just over to this basic form that we have here right now. So in the flow forms area, whenever you go into any form, you will uh, be able to check out each of the fields and in the fields section. So in the field settings section, you will have this option for enable conditional logic. So for example, if I was to add, let's check, um, let's try something like a um, drop down. It's probably going to be a great option for you as photographers. And here you'll want to add some values. So let's do a type of photography. And then we could say uh, wedding engagement uh, portrait, for example. And that is fine. So we've created three options. And then after this, I'm going to then create uh, another question. Uh, uh, based on the type of answer they have. So we can actually add three different questions if we would like. So let's see what we have here. So in this one, I'm going to do a wedding photography budget, for example. And uh, this would be based on the logic that uh, the type of photography is wedding. So let's go to type of photography and then it says is, and of course we are going to use wedding. Now it should, if you want it to be non-case sensitive, then it should be contains. Otherwise, if you want it to be exact, it should be is. Uh, in our case, I did add it with this a capital W at the start, so make sure that it is also present there as well. With that enabled, we would then have the option to show this field once the user selects wedding as an option and that would then pop up this field. Now you do have some other options here as well. Uh, this could be, you could create some and or logic. You could also say or uh, if the type of uh, photography is also engagement that it also shows this field as well. Um, that is just an example of how you could use logic. Of course, it wouldn't be relevant for this specific type. Uh, you may want to ask more of an open-ended question after uh, they select one or the other um, to get a better answer or result. So I'm going to remove that for now. You could also have and. Uh, so in this case, you would say that, you know, you could do something like if the user has added any first name and any second name, then we would show them the email field, for example. And that would be one way you could use the and type logic for that as well. And you can also do groups of logic as also. So maybe you wanted to add an additional group. So it has to complete all of the options within here. And it would also have to complete all of the logic from in here. Uh, that allows you to mix your and and or statements. So you could say uh, the type of photography is wedding and the type of photography is also uh, engagement. Of course, that would not work because we have a drop down. But if you have uh, a field where you can select multiple items, that would make sense. And you could also say, and they would also need to make sure that they add their first name before we actually show them this new field. Now, that logic can seem a little bit complicated and it can get that way, uh, but it does open up different options for you to create multiple options uh, for selectors whenever you are creating your forms. So it works really great if you're creating these long form uh, type forms and you want to pre-qualify the users before you show them specific fields. Um, so this is where conditional logic is going to be useful for you. Now, in our case, I'm going to keep it simple. And I'm just going to keep it as a type of photography is wedding. And then for this next field, I am going to enable the conditional logic and say if the type of photography is engagement. And I'm going to have engagement location. Uh, 
and I'm going to name it engagement location. And I'm going to do the final one here. And I'm going to again go type of photography is. And in this case, I'm going to do portrait. And again, this could be portrait style. For example, it can be anything, it's really up to you. Now I'm going to go ahead and save this form. And once the form is saved and we refresh this page, we will then be able to see how that logic works for us. So let's just refresh that now. The form is saved. And we'll see that we now have the option to select the type of photography. So for example, if I selected wedding, it would show wedding photography budget. If I selected engagement, it will show me engagement location and portrait, the portrait style. Now this can work uh, with multiple options. Again, you could show more than one thing for wedding and you could add, uh, for example, uh, another option here, another single line uh, text. And you could also say uh, that you want um, the number of guests for the wedding, uh, the option wedding. So again, if the uh, type of photography is of course wedding, that you will also show the number of guests. Uh, you could add additional options. And again, just collect all the information you need based on the requirements that you have. And that way uh, you can get the information that you need at the time of form submission. This is really great for qualifying clients, as I mentioned before, and helps you collect as much information as possible, allowing you to then respond to that client efficiently with the correct information, and it should cut down on your communication time. So that's how you use conditional logic options for your forms. Uh, it is relatively simple to set up. Uh, of course, the logic itself can get more complicated as you build out bigger forms, uh, but it will give you lots of flexibility uh, to set up different options for the site and really collect the information that you need.